drinking and drawing. At the moment I have beer, coffee, and water. And I would like to tell you kids, don't drink and draw. Don't drink. But if I did that, that'd be hypocritical. It's like all these uh, uh, fucking adults, all these parents that say, I'll stay in school, but they don't fucking read or graduated high school. Or go to college when they don't understand uh, the cost of tuition, dorms, books, food. I'm just uh, sharing my uh, my technique for the day. Watching um, Christopher Hitchens. And I forget the other name. Is it Charles Bukowski or David Bukowski? I forget his name. Bukowski. Real simple. Um, he was a he was a poet. But some of his insight is so 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 simple, but so pure. The one that uh, the one that caught the one that caught me was. Uh, that people seem as uh, getting married is an accomplishment. Having kids is an, <laughs> it's an accomplishment. And people always find me all weirded out when I say, who gives a fuck if you have a kid or fucking got married or even just have a house? <clears throat> because you could buy a house. Now check this out. You could buy a house and still not a, not have a home. Could fertilize the lawn, make the mortgage payment, and it still won't be a home. If if that's not where you want to be, truly want to be. If you're not married to the type of wife that you wanted, if you're not raising the type of child that you teamed up, to, that you agreed to raise. I think I'll let that ca caffeine kick in more. Took care of some things uh, recently and it's amazing when you come across people that uh, again uh, the dangers of comforts of Los Angeles where one believes that oh look I have um, an income, I have shelter, I have food, I have clothing, clothes on my ass. I've got it made. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, nah, no. And I just seen uh, the disagreements. Disagreements or people so bored. People with such low standards that. Their only uh, accomplishment is uh, commotion, annoying others, dragging others down, and, and before you know that, you'll have a household like that, a neighborhood like that, a community like a community like that, a workplace like that. It eventually, becomes a city state than the countryside. I was listening to a, a piece by Doug Jordan Peterson and this also blew my mind. The uh, delivery of words which was something like it is easier to rule a kingdom than it is to rule yourself, or is it you can't rule a kingdom if you can't rule yourself? 
don't remember exactly what he said. I, I can't recall right now, but. So then if you can't rule yourself, you can't rule a kingdom. But the point of it was, how many of us think that we're king shit or queen shit? Oh, look at me. I know how to do this and that. Well, you should be doing this or that. And then, and then I started recalling my past where being a young fool seeking advice from cowards, idiots, fucking low aimers, people with low aims, people who didn't accomplish much. And there's nothing wrong if you just want to flip burgers, work at Taco Bell, and just have your apartment and be married with your chick and just live happy like that. That's good. That's good. If that's all you want to do and watch Dodger games, but you mind your own business, recycle your shit, sweep your own sidewalk, um, raise a happily united nuclear family, I think that's a beautiful thing. Now, on the other hand, What he did was work at Taco Bell and maybe flip a couple burgers in the past and scrub a few toilets in the past. But some way, somehow, you feel, you know what? My, I believe that my political perspective on the world, on American policy today, is totally relevant and a thousand percent accurate and should be a thousand percent enforced based on my theory of watching all these Hollywood movies. And uh, I'll, I'll admit, I'm one ignorant motherfucker. I'm trying to become less and less stupid every day, right? But I know that <laughs> I know that my knowledge is limited. That I will die an ignorant motherfucker because there will still be so many things I will have never learned that maybe at the very end I'll be like, fuck, I wonder what's life on Saturn once, um, once the colonization of Mars begins. And drink the coffee, the beer, and the water. And drink some caffeine. One second. But, um, I think by me saying, you know what? I have a wild, educated guess <laughs> as to what I'm doing and where I'm going. And it's just a, a guess, a calculated guess. With the caffeine is really kicking in as a yawn here. But you know that if I, I try to silence my yawn because I know that if I yawn and you hear it, did you know that that's how, though it's a, a yawn or a, a vomiting noise. It'll affect others because um, other people will naturally believe, the tribe used to believe, when there wasn't communication, that when they didn't have language, either the, the yakking, hurling sound, or the yawning sound would be a ways of communicating something sick within the food, something's toxic within the food. Or it's time to rest for the tribe to rest. So. I'll keep that uh, down. And if I'm such an ignorant motherfucker, why do I talk so much shit? Why is that? Well, 
there's so many fucking idiots out there that are like well you know if you really want to be happy in life you just gotta meditate you just gotta pray you just gotta show love um, I go with the great philosopher modern philosopher <laughs> Dan Penny says if if uh, love got the job done, you guys wouldn't be all fucked up today. You wouldn't be where we're at today. And think of this other numbskull. And I've seen it in other people where there would be people that will literally abandon their kids, abandon, turn their backs on them. More concerned about what's uh, what's gonna, what's what's the next uh, Terminator sequel or the next Friday the Thirteenth sequel going to be about? People that uh, don't focus on their customers or their job or improving or growing at their job, or starting the business or expanding their business or. Simply becoming great at something, something, being a parent, being a worker, a family member, member of, of society, or even a member of the community, or just a motherfucker that just knows how to just uh, be a less of a pain of, in the ass to other people. And that's why uh, Lord Emperor Trump won. You just see Obama, piece of shit, Obama. Piece of shit, fucking nigger, punch, porch monkey Obama. And redneck honky, fucking um, Bush. And again, a fucking moron if you think that I can call Bush a fucking redneck honky but I can't call Obama fuck <laughs> porch monkey nigger why can't I make fun of the white dude but not the black dude that's how pussified we become I'm a racist alright fuck you gotta see all the girls that I've dated With fucking possibly half of the countries of the UN. <clears throat> you gotta see my my black brother, man. My Asian brother. Then again, I, I wonder, um, should people even say, or that's, is it race? I gotta beat this shit over again, because if not, someone will say, oh, look at this fucker, man, he's just straight up fucking cook us clansmen, don't support him, don't hook him up with shit or whatever. Not a homie. Again, the example I keep on using is Do you do you think I give a fuck what skin tone you are? 
if you sag your pants. How about yeah, mm-hmm. So what you know about that? You know how we do it, mm-hmm. We're a fucking do rag. Yeah, yo, what up man? Oh man, why you charge so much for this, man? Is that for tax? Oh come on dog, hook it up, hook a homie up. Do you think I give a fuck if you're fucking yellow, black, white, fucking caramel flavor? Do you think I care? No. <laughs> Don't be a fucking piece of shit. I remember Malcolm X wrote something in his book on uh, the autobi autobiography of Malcolm X. Something like, uh, it only takes a few niggers to fuck uh, things up for the rest of us. He said, quoted something like that. My subject on uh, racism in words. You know, but I think, you know, I know this is definitely going to be something that uh, it's going to affect me when I get reelected to something. Anyways. You know in uh, Los Angeles I learned to say, hey what's up nigga? What's up boo? What's up homie? And even other people were like, what's up blood? What's up cuz? Even when I called other non Negroes, what's up, nigger? It wasn't a term as uh, what's up, nigger, or as what's up, Negro, what's up, Negroid, or African American. No, it was just what's up, person. Correct me if I'm wrong, but even the, um, when you hear people say, hey, don't nigger my shit, don't beaner my shit, well, oh, that's wrong, you shouldn't be saying that. What about the term, don't jip me, don't gypsy me, which is short for, don't be a fucking gypsy, don't jip me. What are you trying to say about all gypsies? All right, motherfucker. PewDiePie recently was, um, <laughs> that's what he says, uh, I think he said fucking nigger when he got shot or uh, killed in, in the video game recently. And he had to explain that. That's just a term for a fucking asshole, that's it. I think we could go down the rabbit hole further and be like, oh, well, that's hate speech. If I don't like you because you're fucking fat, does that mean I fucking, and you're white, does that mean, um, and I want to date you or marry you, does that mean that I, it's a hate crime or is it just I don't want a fat bitch who's uh, prone to diabetes, heart disease, another, um, and poor health. No, anything can be. I think the way that we, again, where we are, we are creating a culture, and we are creating parts in our culture where Don't address me as him or her. I'm a shim. I'm a zim. I'm a zer. And, um, you know, it's already been mentioned that uh, freedom of speech is not equal to freedom of consequences. Because it could be a black motherfucker that'll say, oh, motherfucking call me a nigger. 
you know, fucking with his pants sagging down. Baby mama here and baby mama there with fucking face tattoos and just slaying and rocking. I'm like, call me a fucking nigger and be like, I don't know, did I? <laughs> or did you classify yourself as one? You know, people call me an asshole. Fucking jerk, piece of shit. Like, all right, cool. I, 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 I. All right. They call me a liar. Then I'm like, wait, what? What? Did you say, what do you mean? How? When? Fuck you mean? Don't. Uh, if I lied somewhere, oh man, I, shit. I'm sorry, but um, I don't think I didn't. Where? How? Don't be spreading that sort of uh, that sort of untruth. That false shit around. Fuck that. I know, I know. I went all over the road. Made no sense here. Caffeine, alcohol, water. No excuses, no, no, no. Let's keep on going though. It's funny that they even, you know what, scratch that, not funny. It's a little funny, but it's more pathetic. And it's a bigger sign of our weakness that even comedians, even, even what I think of the fucking saint, the saint of comedy, Jerry Seinfeld, gets, um, gets labeled as, I forget the exact term, but it was, Performed uncomfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable comedy, man. And I'm like, no, no, fuck no. And I know people will say, you know what? Um, there's um, the way you speak is so nasty. So negative, so wrong. And not, not to drop the dime on anyone specifically, but I ain't seen dudes, men and women, on paper from a distance. They seem like uh, people that are on the ball, professional and caring and good, right? But you get to know them and. Uh, Sometimes you can just see the um, type of people that they'll uh, associate themselves with. <laughs> and it doesn't take long to calculate as to, you know, who those people are not on the list of cool people. Yeah, yeah, be specific. Tell me, tell us more, tell us more. Shut the fuck up. Pay attention to your own fucking circle, to your own people, to those motherfuckers that say, you know, I really, really care about the world, I really, really care about the Negro, I really, really care about the poor, about the orphans, about abortions, about, um, about the Muslims, about the refugees, Trump is a, he's a Nazi, he's Hitler, he's Hitler 2.0. There's a, 
couple places that I go to where one of the landmarks could just, could not just be the, um, the cross streets a certain building color or a, or a fucking some golden arches but it could be the homeless you're probably gonna see some homeless motherfucker there with a shoe suitcase and shopping cart you know, but that's it. Yeah, that parking lot. Parked there and cross the street. And I think of all the, uh, all the people that care, you know, that. I'll say that I don't I don't like it. But I would say I don't like it enough to Okay, first I'll say this that I don't like it when I've seen a homeless woman maybe in her mid twenties. Week after week on the same uh, on the same bench. And they think like man how well how did that happen? But but then again I realize man I've gotta I've gotta focus on, on my struggles, on my um my goals and realize and calculate, fuck man, I could give up everything that I've saved up all my comforts just to help out one motherfucker or I can put it all on black and attempt to grow something even bigger that would benefit more than just me and that homeless motherfucker. I know this gotta be fucking stupid fucks. Well, you could have given them a dollar. Give me, send me a fucking dollar. PayPal, you motherfucker. Send me twenty bucks. I know. I'll um, buy her a jacket and uh, take us both to McDonald's and eat. Give her some company. I'm be a fucking lame fuck. That's what I find annoying. All these people that uh, will judge others. Like, oh, you should have given them this. 